Hey guys, what's going on? It's Uncle Tone. How you guys doing? Welcome to the News Day Vlog. That's an orange Mustang. An orange Mustang. Black is common, silver, blue. Don't see a lot of orange Mustangs. Chris and I are out for a walk this morning again. Tam and a little friend, Gemma, are not coming over today because they're doing their stuff again. So, there you go, they got some plans going on. So, Tristan and I decided to go out for a walk, go to Tim's and get a coffee, because, you know, coffee. And, uh, but first we watch the mid-season finale of The Walking Dead. No spoilers here. But they left it, you know, the way they leave it a lot of the times, just with a whole bunch of undecided things. Imagine if I was like, so, no spoilers, you know, but Glenn dies. <laughs> no spoilers, but Glenn dies! That's not what happens. No. But, you know, that'd be funny, though. Yeah. Chris, are your doggy friends are gone? No. She's very sad. There were doggy friends outside when we got here, and Tristan was petting and loving them. And now they're gone. I still love them. But now they're gone. They left you. Yeah. We made it to Tim's. It is jumping in here today. Uh, I think it's because the other coffee shop downtown is closed. For some reason. We don't know why. There's a sign on the door, but we couldn't read it from that far away. So, we don't know what it says. Perhaps there was some sort of family emergency. Or some eventful thing. I hope not. Because we know those people, so there you go. But yeah, we made it to I'm having a nutritious start to my day. My breakfast is an apple fritter. That's healthy, right? Yes. It's got apple in it. Yep. Yeah, apple fritter is healthy because it's got apple in it. You know? That's going to be, that's a healthy start to your day right there. I'm also using the G4 again because, you know, I like to switch back and forth once in a while between my iPhone and the G4. So, there you go. Good week. Not as cold this week as it was last week either, so our walk was much more pleasant. We weren't freezing and frantically walking. I feel like we did a frantic walk on the way home last week. We did, yeah. Where we were just, you know, walking really quick. Yeah. Yeah. It's not windy today. No, that definitely helps. So, there you go. <laughs> I'm using the WX500 again. If those of you who were on the fence about picking this one off, you should do it today. Of course, by the time you watch this video, the sale might be over. But there you go. Best Buy has the WX500 on for $2.99 today. Which, I don't think you're going to get better price on the WX500. So, there you go. You may need a faster memory card, though. Because I thought this memory card would be fast enough to use XABCS for you know the higher bit rate for recording, but it isn't. So apparently the XABCS is up to 100 megabits a second. This card's only 85, so I'm just slightly too too slow. Slightly too slow. But Black Friday, there was the Black Friday sale on the Lexar Professional. UHS class 10 UHS 3 card that I bought it's regular like 120 bucks and I got it for I think it's 120 I can't remember but it was on sale for 37 dollars tax and shipping like that. it only came to 47 dollars so there you go that should be fast enough to use XABCS I don't know if it'll make a huge difference in the video or not though I guess we'll see. It's supposed to be here tomorrow, so... Alright, Cool Beans, we're done at Tim's. We stopped at Max to get some milk on the way home because we're on our last bag of milk. And we noticed a sign in the window that said eggnog, and Trista was like, I want eggnog! She was pumped. But they don't have any eggnog. Apparently it doesn't even come in until tomorrow. I don't know why they put all the signs up today when the eggnog doesn't come in until tomorrow, but there you go. So I guess we'll get eggnog tomorrow. Cool beans. I also saw the Pure Leaf um, teas that Mom likes, and they were on the shelf that said mix and match for two twenty-two. Two for two twenty-two. Actually, 
sells it. That's a good price. So grab two of them. Apparently it's only for the other two things on that shelf, not the pure leaf iced teas. I'm sorry, Max, but that's misleading advertising, okay? That's just not right. You shouldn't do that. Anyway. Back home again, and I am currently working on installing Sims 4 onto the Alienware 15 so that, you know, I can get my Sims on. The only thing uh, about the Alienware that's kind of weird is it doesn't have a disk drive. So I have to use a USB external drive that is right here. It's a little dark. Hang on a second. There you go. So that I can use a, I have to use an external DVD drive because the Alienware 15 does not have a DVD drive. So there you go. As bulky as it is, it's a beast of a gaming machine. But as bulky as it is, it does not have a DVD drive. So I have to use an external drive. Insert disk too. Got Sims 4 installed and I played that for a little bit. You can see the icons there on the desktop. Sims 4. Cool beans. I got that installed and I played it for a little bit, but I don't know how to steal. I created a Sim. I think he's a pretty cool Sim. Anyway, cool beans. But I don't know how to steal people's houses like Fiora does. I don't actually want to build an entire house because that's too much work. I just kind of want to steal somebody else's house like Fiora does. So I'm going to get her to show me how to do that. Uh, maybe not right at this second, but I'm going to get her to show me how to do that so that I can steal somebody else's house instead of just building my own. I know that's not how you're supposed to play the game, but that's how I want to play it. And you can, so there you go. Cool beans. Tristan went over and got the mail, and a couple of things arrived in the mail today, finally, that I have been waiting an eternity for. Um, one of them came to the door by Pure Later, actually. I got the WX350 back, um, not repaired, because they, apparently, you know, they took forever to come back, and I was like, why is it not coming back? So I finally called them, and apparently um, they had left a message. They said they left a message was asking me to call. They didn't. Um, they did call, and uh, Trista told me they called. And she said that they said I could call back if I wanted to, but it wasn't really necessary. And I was like, all right. So I didn't call for like three weeks. And then they were like, oh, you finally called. And I was like, well, I didn't know I was supposed to call. Anyway, they say that there's physical damage to the camera, uh, so it's not covered under warranty. So I was going to have to pay. $30 for an estimate, and then whatever the cost of fixing it was. They figured it'd probably be somewhere around $100 to $120. Um, you know, without doing an estimate, because they have to take it apart, clean it all, put it all back together again, so on and so forth. Uh, which is ridiculous. I'm not paying $150 plus tax, and then shipping back um, just to repair a $200 camera. I mean, I could buy a new... WX350 for like $200, $250. Why would I pay you like $150 to fix an old one? It doesn't make any sense at all. So I told them to just send it back. Uh, so they shipped it back without charging me for the estimate, which was cool. So I only had to pay like eight bucks shipping to get it back. Um, I'll just keep it. It still works perfectly, except for that little bit of dust in the lens there, which isn't really noticeable all the time. So I'll just keep it and use it as a backup camera in the event that something happens to this one. That is the plan anyway. Cool beans. Also, when I got this camera, I figured that the memory card I had would be fast enough to use the XAVC-S setting on the camera. But it's not! Uh, apparently, XAVC-S needs up to 100 megabits a second um, for uh, speed. Like, you had class 10 UHS-3, 100 megabits a second kind of a thing. So, my card wasn't fast enough. So I was like, well, that's that's fine. I mean, it, it looks awesome the way it is. So I don't really care. And I'm not going to spend like 120 bucks, 130 bucks on a memory card um, when this one works perfectly fine. So Black Friday came along. And Amazon had this on sale for $37. And I was like, all right, I'll, I'll spend... $37 on this. And apparently this is capable of 
This is the Lexar Professional uh, SDA-HC UHS-2 Class 10 with a UHS-3 thing. Apparently it's 150 megabits a second. So that should be fast enough for the XAVCS setting. It does 4K, apparently. It's like a 4K card. Um, so certainly that should be fast enough for, you know, this kind of a thing. For the XAVCS setting. Hopefully. Cool beans. So I picked that up for like 37 bucks. Tax and shipping came to like $47 for like a $120 memory card. So that's pretty cool. That's a good deal, right? That was my major Black Friday purchase. That's the only thing I bought on Black Friday. I do kind of want another external hard drive. I have this one. My Seagate uh, Backup Plus 1 terabyte drive. Um, it's a terabyte, but it's almost full, so I need another drive. Um, I'll probably just end up going with a two terabyte drive, maybe, something like that. I saw a four on Amazon today, and it was like 159, 169 bucks, I think, for four terabyte, um, which would give me tons of space, but I didn't really want to spend any money, so... I think the two terabyte ones were 90, so I'll probably just go with the two, because, you know, that would give me three in total, because I still have the other drive, it still works fine. Um, so that would give me two drives with like three terabytes of storage, that, sh that should be plenty, I think. Given, you know, Dropbox and everything, that should be enough. Also, I finally got my replacement birth certificate in the mail that I have been waiting for. Apparently I threw out my old one. So there you go. Also, this is huge. This is the largest birth certificate I've ever seen in my entire life. For a perspective, here's my keyboard and my MX performance mouse. Um, this is a huge birth certificate. My other one was like the size of a business card or a credit card or whatever. Just a piece of paper, you know, that was like the size of a credit card, sort of. Slightly larger than that. But certainly not that big. I mean, that's freaking huge and apparently you can't fold it so I don't know how you're supposed to store that I, I'm gonna, I guess I'll just keep it in my file folder with all of my other important documents I have a file folder where I keep all of my important legal documents and medical receipts and tax stuff and all that kind of stuff I'll keep it in there which is the same place I kept the other one but I was cleaning it out a while ago and apparently getting rid of all the stuff I didn't need anymore and apparently I threw out the old one by mistake. So there you go. I had to get a new one. So there's a new one. It took forever to get here. I sent away for like five weeks ago. And it finally got here. So there you go. So hopefully that, uh, you know, don't lose it again. Don't, don't throw your stuff out. That's today's tip. Today's tip, make sure you don't throw out the things you really need, okay? When you're cleaning out your file folder, or your junk drawer, or whatever you're doing, check all the envelopes and make sure that you don't throw out the things that you're supposed to actually keep. You know, don't don't do don't be a tom. Cool beans. That's today's lesson. Uh, that's about all I got for this week's vlog. I think um, I'm gonna try out that new memory card. I have to go out in a little bit. Uh, we're having a party at the restaurant for uh, like a Christmas party slash Danny selling the restaurant retirement party sort of a slash staff party sort of a party thing cool beans so there's a party at the restaurant today that's uh, supposed to start at like four and it's like 322 now so I might be late because I gotta stop a couple places on the way there but um, I'm not sure if I'll vlog a lot while I'm there but uh, I'll probably vlog on the way there and on the way home so all right, cool beans. I played some Sims 4 with Fiora, and she showed me how to steal someone's house. So I now have a big, fancy three-story house um, and 55,000 simoleons. So I got lots of money and a big, fancy house. That's pretty cool. I kicked everybody else out of the house that were living there, and now it's just my house, which is pretty cool. So there you go. Now I am on my way to the party. I'm on my way to the party, but I've got to stop and pay a couple of bills first. Somehow I went British, I don't know how, but the party, I think is what did it. Cool beans, but I gotta stop on the way there 
and uh, pay a couple of bills and uh, stop at the beer store and buy some beer because it's a BYOB party. All right, cool beans. As you can see, I am just leaving the beer store. I picked up a six pack of blue, which is the beer that I like to drink. And now I'm heading over to the restaurant. In case you guys are wondering why I'm walking, uh, the total distance I'm walking um, down where I had to pay a couple bills, uh, which I just missed the bank closing, actually. Really loud truck, sorry. I just missed the bank closing, actually. Um, so I didn't actually get to pay those. And then over to the beer store. And this entire distance I walked is probably less than two miles. Um, so it's not like an epic long walk or something. It's quite short, actually, which is why I didn't even bring my bike because I'm gonna have a drink or two and um, It's not really that big of a deal. It's not that far, you know, totally probably 15 minutes of walking You know, it's not all that far. The restaurant in fact is right around that corner So there you go well, I'm on my way over to the party and um, I'm probably not gonna film a whole lot while I'm there, if at all, because um, most of the people I work with, uh, they know I make YouTube videos, but um, they're not really YouTube people. They're not really comfortable being on camera. And um, I don't like to force it, you know? I don't think it's fair to uh, people who aren't comfortable with being on camera to force them to be on camera. That's not really right, you know? So um, I'll have some fun while I'm there and we'll have our party and thing and have dinner and stuff, but I'm probably not gonna film. But I will check in with you guys in a little bit on my way home and wrap things up, you know, for this week's vlog. headed home after the party. I stayed a little longer than I intended to. I also had a little bit more to drink than I intended to. I am not a heavy drinker, um, so I only had three beers. But for me, three beers is kind of a lot because I think the last time I had a beer was my birthday, which was back in June. So there you go, cool beans. It was fun though, I had a good time, and it was good seeing some people that I haven't seen for a while that showed up, that came to the party. So that was pretty cool. So, I had a good time, it was pretty fun. Uh, I didn't get any video from the party, but I did, but I'm not gonna post it because, you know, it's kind of a thing, and, and they didn't know I was shooting it, and it was kind of a Danny Lane thing, and it seems like a personal thing, and I'm not gonna post it, but I did get some pictures. So I put together a little montage right before you're watching this, Hope you guys enjoyed that. And uh, that's pretty much gonna do it for this week's Muse Day vlog. I'm gonna head home, get this video edited, and uh, get some sleep. Rob is picking me up tomorrow morning to go and do some shopping. Um, I start my five day work weeks this week. Um, no more six days a week. I'm working five days a week now. Should be pretty awesome. Um, I think it's well deserved after 10 years of working six days a week, split shifts. Going to five days a week um, is gonna be awesome. So there you go, it's gonna give me more time to do stuff and spend time with family and so on and so forth, which is gonna be awesome. So there you go, cool beans. Thanks for watching. I might record tomorrow, do some vlogging if Rob's okay with it while I'm shopping and uh maybe that'll be next week's this week's bonus clip thursday so there you go cool beans thanks for watching and i'll see you guys on thursday rock on